Hello friends, welcome back to the new lecture. So in this lecture, we'll discuss the dehumidifier sizing and selection. So before starting that, uh, first we have to understand what is actually dehumidifier and what is the main purpose of that. So dehumidifier is a device used to reduce and maintain the humidity level in indoor air by removing excess moisture. Okay. It is widely used in residential, commercial and industrial environment to enhance comfort, project building material and goods and improve air quality. Okay, now how this dehumidifier works? Simple. It be, uh, dehumidifier operates by drawing moist air into the unit, removing moisture and releasing the drier air back into the room. Okay. So let's see now. So here now I will show you the dehumidifier selection criteria. So first I will show you what, uh, what step we have to follow for selecting dehumidifier. Okay. So here also same as we have discussed in humidifier sizing or humidifier selection. Here also the first step is to calculate the room volume. Okay. So room volume in which unit in cubic feet. Okay. From the drawing, you will get this thing. Second step is to determine the air changes rate, which you will get uh, based on the type of room. You have to select the appropriate air changes per hour value from the table. See here, the recommended air changes value per hour value is given for different types of building. Okay. And remember, the reference which we have taken uh, for a ACH values is what? It is given that Ashley published ventilation and air quality standard for different types of building. Standards such as Ashley 62.1 ventilation standard for acceptable indoor air quality and Ashley 170 is the ventilation for healthcare facility which provide detailed ACH guideline. Okay, some of that I have shown in this table. Okay, first thing we need to calculate the room volume second determine the ACH air changes per hour value from the table or from this uh, given standard. Now the third step is to calculate the air volume flow rate. So for that here the formula is given Q is equal to room volume in cubic feet into ACH by 60. Once you will get the air volume flow rate. Now the next step is to determine the humidity ratio. So based on your current and target relative humidity level, you have to calculate the humidity ratio value from where from the psychometric chart or from the software you will get easily that will show you how. And then finally, to calculate the dehumidification load, we have a formula is dehumidification load is equal to Q in bracket W1 minus W2, which is the humidity ratio and 4.5. So in this formula, Q is the air volume flow rate in cubic feet per minute. W1 and W2 are the humidity ratio at the current relative humidity and target relative humidity respectively. And 4.5 is the conversion factor to account for air density and time. Okay. So these are the steps which you have to follow for the selection of dehumidifier. Now I will show you the example calculation so you can easily get the idea that in this way we have to select or we have to size the dehumidifier. So let's start the example calculation. So let us calculate the required dehumidification load for the office building. Okay. Suppose the room volume is 15,000 cubic feet air changes rate for office building. I have considered here six per hour. Okay. So here you can see from this table only. Uh, for office building, how much it is showing here? Tell me, please. S between four to six means in one hour we can change four to six time air. Okay. Is it clear? So suppose let's say in my case here I am taking four per hours. Okay. Four uh, we have taken air changes. Minimum four, maximum we can go up to six. So four and right now I am uh, I am taking. But better is to take the average five. Okay. Initial relative humidity, let's say if in our location is 80%. And uh, that is why we are doing the selection 
a dehumidifier selection because we have to remove the excess moisture because as per human comfort always we have to maintain how much humidity uh, how much percent 50 percent so the desired relative humidity is let's say 50 percent which we have to maintain inside the room for human comfort but the initial is 80 percent so that is why we have to install the dehumidifier to remove the excess moisture so that we have to see here how much moisture we have to remove in one hour and the air temperature inside the room which we have to maintain is 75 as per human comfort okay now to calculate the dehumidification load here the formula is written so in this formula the first thing which we have to calculate is air volume flow rate so by using this formula we can easily calculate the air volume flow rate see the room volume is 15000 ACH value we have considered for office building 4 from the table when you substitute this value you will get 1000 CFM cubic feet per minute okay finally after that the next target is to calculate the humidity ratio value so you can see from the software I will show you from the psychometric chart of if you have a psychometric software so based on the supply air temperature 75 degree Fahrenheit and your uh, humidity I means relative humidity value initially when you see the relative humidity is 80 percent as per initial relative humidity and supply air temperature see we have got the humidity ratio value 0 0.015 5 pound moisture per pound dry air from where from the psychometric software I will show you here see when you open the software here hit on continue first of all you have to select the C level as I already shown you in the humidifier selection so if you have not seen my that video how to select the humidifier so please go through that okay and watch first of all that video how to select the humidifier okay so here as per your location just select the C level if your C level is less than 2500 so this value from where you will get the C level value from the ASHRAE handbook okay outside design data you will get this all detail so if your C level is less than 2500 feet so you have to select the first one okay then finally hit on state point and processes here hit on add point and now what is your tribal temperature 75 we are maintaining and what is the relative humidity initially 80 percent okay after adding this two property hit on apply now when you minimize this here you will get the psychometric chart and one point see in the psychometric chart you have to remember the vertical line represent tribal temperature and this curved line represent relative humidity so that is why see we are maintaining 75 so this is your 75 degree Fahrenheit see and 80 percent curve line is this one so both are intersecting in this point so here we have got one point and when you take the just draw the horizontal line trace it see the humidity value is showing how much humidity ratio is 0 0.15 pounds of moisture per pounds of dry air so from here only we have taken this value 0 0.015 same way uh, what is your desired relative humidity which you have to maintain 50 percent and temperature is same so just again you can just open that now change the relative humidity value now we have to maintain 50 percent after adding just hit on apply now see you will get the point here now this is your curved line of 50 percent relative humidity and 75 see both are intersecting in this point when you trace it you will get near about 0 0.009 pounds moisture per pounds of dry air correct so now just that value we have written w1 w2 now to calculate the dehumidification load just substitute that value air volume flow rate 1000 cfm 4.5 conversion factor w2 value and w1 so here we are getting 27 pounds per hour this means the dehumidifier needs to remove 27 pounds of moisture from the air per hour to reach the target humidity level of 50 percent so in this way we have to select the dehumidifier for okay HU so uh, please do not forget to like subscribe my channel to get this informative knowledge in future 
Hope all of you enjoy this session. See you in next one.